Hey everyone, it's Nina from One N Agency and happy Monday. Hopefully you guys are all having a good day. So I don't know if you guys saw my post from this morning, but basically it was talking about utilizing retail to really build strong relationships with your clients. And a lot of times, uh, stylists, they steer clear of talking about retail and selling retail because they get nervous and maybe they're not confident. Hi Ezio. They're not confident with selling retail. Maybe they just don't have, um, you know, the knowledge they haven't read up on their products or they haven't taken classes. So I want to talk about how to change your mindset when it comes to selling and recommending retail. So a couple tips and a couple things that I want to say first. So when you sell and recommend retail to your client, they are actually, it's proven that they will actually become a more loyal client and they will stay with you longer when they decide to purchase retail from you. And it's because they are trusting you and they are believing in your recommendations and they're buying into what you have to say because they're really, they trust you and they value you. So, you know, in terms of thinking of it that way, you know, you're not really, you're, you want to make sure that you talk about retail with your clients because they want to hear it. This is what I think people need to hear. They want to hear you talk about it, but more so they want you to educate them. It's not just like, oh, here's your product, you know, good luck, I hope it works out. I mean, you really want to educate your clients and talk to them about the benefits of this product and how much to use and you know how often they should be using it. It's really spending the time to really educating them on what they're actually using. And so uh, you know I want to make sure that retail becomes a tool that you use on a regular basis because really it is part of our job. It is part of what we should be doing on a regular basis. However, the number one reason that clients are not purchasing retail is because the stylists are not talking about it. They're not educating, they're not recommending, or they're just not saying anything at all. So I want to make this a little easier for you guys so you don't have to be um, nervous. And this is common through our industry, you know, where people, stylists get nervous, they feel um, that they don't want to come off salesy, which I'm going to talk about in a second. And, you know, once you understand that this is really part of uh, the experience for the client, you know, educating them and talking about retail and making recommendations. Once you get that mindset, it really makes it so much easier because it really is talking about it. That's all that it is. We only recommend things that clients need. Obviously, we're not going to just sell them things to sell them anything. You know, that's not how this works. It goes along with the experience. And if you see that their hair is dry and they need a heavy mask or a conditioning treatment to take home with them, it's your job to really explain the benefits and talk to them about it so they feel like you really care about them and you're really concerned about their hair, which you are, you know? So it's just thinking a little bit differently in terms of how to go about um, recommending retail. So here's a couple things, three tips, quick tips, that I just want you guys to, you know, hopefully you can think about this and maybe apply this to your, um, you know, your everyday behind the chair. It really is a mindset. So my first tip to you is stop thinking that you are coming off salesy if you talk and sell retail to your clients. Um, instead, what I want you to think about is, wow, I'm really doing such a great service to my clients by educating them on the benefits of this product or educating them on the products and recommending that the products that should be using at home to recreate the style that we're doing here. So if you feel like you're coming off salesy, it may have to do with your script and the way that you're talking about it. You know, it really doesn't have to, you know, clients want to hear about this stuff. They want to, they want you to educate them. And so it may be just the way that you're coming off and the way that you're coming off is because of the way that you're feeling about it. If you feel like you're coming off salesy, then you're going to come off that way. So it's just changing the script a little bit. And if you think about it, like, wow, I really, this is part of my job. You know, I'm supposed to really do this for my clients to offer them a great experience. It's part of the experience, the salon experience and the package and all I really want to do is educate my clients tell them the benefits of the retail product and what it's going to do for them and for their hair I want them to recreate their style at home so all you have to do is educate them talk about it and recommend what you think and you know I just want you to change that you know you're not selling them 
hi Cheryl, you're not selling them. You know, if you're coming off, maybe switch your script a little bit and switch your approach. And it's all about your mindset. So you have to change that. You know, we're not selling things that people don't need. We're recommending and we're educating our clients on products that they need to recreate their style at home. And also remember that you're building a relationship with them in terms of, you know, making a connection with them. This goes a lot deeper than just selling product. Uh, number two, don't think of, of retail as the enemy. You know, a lot of people, and I've seen this, people get so nervous when they have to talk about retail or their clients ask them questions about real retail. They start to kind of like retract a little bit and get nervous. So you want to be confident in what you're talking about. I do recommend on downtime that you read all of your products, read up on them, go online, read, all you need is three tips, you know, the three benefits, and they're usually listed on the front of the product. You know, that's all that you really need to know about your product. So, you know, don't think of retail as the enemy. Think of it as a um, think of it as a tool to build a relationship with your clients. There's a lot of benefits to this. You know, you don't want them to walk away from your salon experience thinking, "Wow, you know what? I really wish they would have talked about that shampoo and conditioner that they use because I really love the smell of it and I love the way my hair feels." Or, you know what, darn it, I wish they would have talked to me about that hairspray because I'm having a hard time with humidity and I need a light hold hairspray that um, you know that I could use that'll lock out humidity so I really wish you would have talked about that with me you don't want your clients walking away thinking about that because again it's part of the experience so thinking of retail as a tool is different than thinking it thinking of it as the enemy like oh my gosh I have to talk about this and being more comfortable and confident is just knowing the product and knowing what it is exactly that your client needs it's listening to them when they're talking to you about their problems with their hair and things that they need because we always need to be on the lookout you know we're always listening you know if they say that they're not getting volume the shampoo that they're using at home is a hydrating shampoo but their hair is always flat and it's fine and it's thin you know you're thinking of all these and then you're already thinking like oh well she would like this shampoo the volumizing shampoo the root boost you know you're already thinking what you can recommend to her and then just give her three tips three benefits that she's you know why she's gonna love this product um, hi Valerie my last tip for you is um, don't get discouraged when your clients say no this is the number this is the second reason why stylists don't talk about retail or sell retail is because they don't want to be shot down they don't want to be you know said nobody likes to be rejected, right? I mean, nobody wants to hear the words no. However, you can't get discouraged when they say no. You have to have options. You know, instead of, you know, getting discouraged, you have to have reasons on why they should purchase. You know, maybe you have sample cups, which is always a tip. You guys have here, here we talk about sample cups all the time. But if someone wants to buy something, but they're just kind of, you know, they want to think about it, Give them a sample cup of the shampoo and conditioner that you just used so they could try it at home. And so it's, don't get discouraged, have answers to their questions. You know, understanding why they should not be buying professional products at the drugstore. Understanding why they should not, you know, be spending more at the drugstore or at a grocery store when they could be buying the same product from you and they get a guarantee with the product that they're buying from you. They're not getting that same guarantee when they buy it in the grocery store. We don't even know what that is in the grocery store. And I've had personal experience with my clients who have ended up purchasing on a whim um, something at the grocery store and it was not even the same product. It was so watered down and it was slimy and it was not good. So you always want to talk about this with your clients and always have answers. Have answers for their problems, What right? We're always the solution to the client's problem. That's just really customer service, number one, but it's marketing 101. And you always want to know, you, your clients want to know that you know what you're talking about. You want to be that expert. And so it's not being pushy. It's just really letting them understand why it's important to buy professional products here or why, you know, they should be um, using this color safe shampoo and conditioner because they just spent $250 on a 5R color that they just had done, you know? I mean, so it's just explaining, it's recommending, it's making suggestions, it's really spending time explaining and educating your clients. I can't talk about it enough, but education is so, so, so important. If you work that into your script, if you start talking about retail right in the consultation don't wait until the end you know you always want to 
ask them questions in their consultation so you can start making ideas and what you want to recommend to them and through the entire time that they're with you every time that you're using something you are talking about it with them you're letting them put it in their hands you're letting them put it in their hair I mean there's so many ways to go about this but really retail is more than just selling retail we're not doing that it's part of the salon experience for our client but it's also about building that relationship with them it really really is important when they trust you I mean you guys know this if you know you've been working on the floor you know half the time you know clients that you're talking to you don't even have to get four words out about the product you're like I'll take it because they love you they trust you and they know that you're not gonna sell them anything that they're not gonna like and they don't need so it, <clears throat> excuse me it's really building on that relationship Hi, Jennifer. And, you know, letting them know that you always have their back and that you always have their best interest at heart. It's really creating that connection. So I wanted to talk about this tonight because I want you guys to change your mindset about retail. I don't want it to make you nervous. I don't want you to be, um, you know, to lack confidence behind the chair. I want you to really change the way that you're thinking about this and utilize this as a tool to allow people to recreate your style at home, but also to build a relationship and a connection with your clients. So thank you guys for tuning in. I have, what do I have? A couple things. So um, successful salon leader webinar still going on, always on um, four 45 minute webinars for only $99. And then my how to build a book in six months for hairstylists, $65, three 45 minute webinars. Check out my website. I have a ton of blogs on there. Sign up for my newsletter if you haven't done that yet because I have stuff blogs and um, quotes and all kind of stuff always going out. Um, I won't inundate your email box, don't worry. I don't send them out too often. But if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, feel free to go ahead, onenagency.com. And if you have questions, if you have comments, I love your feedback. You guys have been sending me awesome topics to talk about on my live, so keep doing that. And as always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching me. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a really, really good night. Thanks, guys.